Hello, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to another video that's nothing to do with gas. So today's video is how to build up an IKEA HEMS draw pack. So we're going to be replacing this one. Now this has only got three drawers and it's not big enough and it's 13 years old. So we've gone back to IKEA yesterday and we bought a taller one with more drawers in it. Just so I can get my underpants in it. Anyway, enough about my underpants. Let's get on with this video and let's find out how to build up an IKEA HEMS draw pack. Now, before we open this uh, IKEA HEMS 6 draw pack, uh, let's talk about health and safety. Now, the first one is weight. Now, the top box weighs 24 kilos and the bottom one weighs 29 kilos so they're not the lightest of boxes so either use two people to carry them upstairs or take the boxes apart downstairs and carry them up bit by bit but I found it easy just to bring them upstairs first so first thing we need to do now is get the boxes open and we don't need any craft knife or any sharp implements to open the boxes. We just basically need to rip them open. It's a lot safer that way. You know, I'm going to cut your little pinkies off. So, let's get on with it. We've got an instruction box, that's the first thing we got, and care and cleaning instructions in loads of different languages. So the first bit looks like it's all the drawers. So let's get these to one side and let's get the bottom box open. So that's the big box open, and we've got all the white pieces in this one. So let's get these stashed away somewhere and I'm just going to lie the cardboard on the floor to protect the carpet and to protect the cupboards. So, lots of bits. Let's get uh, on with it then. So you can see I've laid the box out and I've actually got the instructions. So this is something uh, us men find really hard to do, is read the instructions. I hate DIY especially building up units, but needs most, eh? But as you can see, the instructions are brilliant. They tell you in picture form exactly what you need. And even the bags of the bits are numbered. So I've had to open bag number one, and I've laid out my bits on the side here, so I know exactly um, what I've got to do, and I'm going to follow the instructions which will be pretty hard for me, to be sure. Now, according to the book, the tools you require, it shows you screwdrivers and bits like this, but this, I love this bit. This, My wife already had this when we got together for doing all her little bits of DIY, and it's absolutely amazing for jobs like this. I've got my little box of bits as well, which she bought me last Christmas, I'm going to be using them, but that is amazing. The only other thing I need is some glue, some PVA glue and a hammer. Now, it doesn't say you have PVA glue in the, uh, the destructions, but I just like to put a little bit of PVA just to hold it all together. And also when packing it, I've just found out why I paid 200 quid for this. Because it's all solid wood. It's not chipboard or anything, none of it's chipboard, it's all bits of pine wood glued together and stuff, so you can even see the knots in it, it's proper wood. So uh, yeah, no wonder it was 200 quid. So first thing I'm going to do now is start at page one and I'm going to lay these out and get stuck in. Come on then, where do we start? 
Now the first thing we've got to do is install these studs, I think that's what they're called. And there's quite a few of them to install. Now, next thing it says I need to put these into here. So I'm just going to get some PVA glue with my little brush. I'm just going to put some PVA in the hole. With my little brush. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Where's my hammer? And then we just need to knock these in till they bottom out. And the next thing is, we need to put these little things in. Now these have little arrows which tell you which way they're facing. And the arrow needs to go into there like that. So it's facing the side. These are pretty good because they're metal, not plastic. And now all we need to do is a little bit more PVA in there. And then this needs to slide onto there. And then we just need to get a flat screwdriver now on the end of the bit. Now I'm going to use my little screwdriver for this. And you just place it in and twist them, making sure they're all the way in and it locks into place. Same on the other side, bit of glue in there. And twist the locks. That was my wife shouting me for lunch. So I'll catch you back after lunch and I'll do exactly the same with that one because you've seen it done once. Next thing is, so I've done both sides by the way, <laughs> next thing is to put the rails on for the drawers. Even the rails have here left and right. So this tells you which side. So this is our left side we're going to do. So we need to secure them in this position. And we use, need to use these little blunt Phillips screws. Okay, and again, they just go into the end. Hey. Yes, darling. Okay. So that's uh, one done. Just got all the others to do. So it's just a matter of following the instructions and screwing them in the right place.
So that's all the runners attached to the side, and we've got to put more of the know, pegs, plastic pegs, I don't know, back into here. So we've got to do this one that side, and there's one down this side, so we've got all down here to do again. Now you can see both sides are done, pegs are in down both sides, I think we've got some more of these to put in because I've opened bag number two and laid it all out like I did before. So bag number two open. So let's consult the old uh, comic and find out what we're doing next. So after consulting the comic what I've got to do now, or what I've done is, I've had to put the locks in and the dowels in, these cross pieces. These cross pieces are what the drawer go up to. But there are four the same and three special ones. So, the special ones. This one has a groove in it and it's not painted. And this one, with the groove facing to the top of the actual unit, or the drawers, slides into that one. Then, this one, with just one hole in the middle, again, slides that way up. So the non-painted bit to the top, slide, or to the inside, sorry, slides like that. So the painted is at the front, and then the last one, with lots of holes in, and a non-painted face here, goes this way around, like that. So the non-painted bit goes to the top, and then the others just slot in here, with these, what do you call them? Clamps? facing down the bottom way and the finished face to the front like that so I've just got to glue the dowels in, tighten up the um, locks and then we'll look and see what the next bit is now, next thing I've got to do is a bit of a balancing act I've got to put this on top of these so, since the jump it's not heavy Let's start with this one first. <laughs> well, that wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do. So all I've got to do now is tighten up all the locks. So it's starting to look a little bit like a set of drawers now. All I've got to do is put the feet in. So there's a bag here with four feet in. And what it says to do is, is like, I don't know whether you can see that, there's a little lip on the back and that goes to the inside of the feet. So uh, I guess it doesn't matter at the back really, but there you go. So it goes on the inside, so it's going on the inside, so just the two down the bottom to do. Next piece is the centre piece here. So I've already put two more of the locks in the holes there, and there's some dowels need to go in for the top, but I'll leave that dowel off for a minute, so I'll put the top in. Now I'm going to put two of these bolts through, and they're just going to go into there. Now there isn't anything in these holes, 
these are going to self tap themselves in but what they do give you in the pack is this cranked allen key so I've already put the screws in to make it a little bit easier so I'm just going to push that one in that hole and this one's the harder one now this centre hole wasn't drilled out <laughs> properly so that's why it's finding it hard to screw in so I might have to sort that out well that's the first thing what's gone wrong with this so far that hole in the centre there isn't actually big enough or deep, wide enough for the screw to go through like that one is at the bottom so I'll just sort that out so just to make it completely clear it's a standalone black screw what goes at the top here and the five remaining silver screws go down at the bottom so black at the top silver at the bottom that was better let's consult the old uh, comic again and see how I guess the top goes on now so as you can see I've already pre-glued and installed the seven dowels ready to take the top as you can see I've put the pegs where they need to and I've put the dowels in and I've glued them in so I've got three on that side, two in the middle, and three on that side. This is the back, because there's a groove here. So, I'm going to spin it over. And then hopefully now, this isn't going to be as hard as the last one was. the top on. Let's get the locks tightened up. So, might be the back on next. Now before I do put this back on, I need to secure the top to this rail with these four remaining silver screws using this crank allen key. So there's the second, third and the fourth. The fifth one we we'll use down at the bottom. Now the back is next. So the back comes in two sections which are just taped together. That way. <laughs> just to open it out like that now before I actually use these little nails to give you so they give you a little bag with not many nails in it um, I'm just going to check and make sure this isn't right now what the back does is it gives it rigidity stops it racking stops it moving around so this is what gives it its strength so this is important so I'm just going to measure from that top corner there this corner here, if it'll stay on. That top corner there. So that is 1530 mil, and that one is. Bang up, 1530. So exactly the same. So these edges and this board is cut. To the right size so before I actually nail it in I am going to use some PVA down the sides bottom and the top just to give it that little bit more so uh, let's get PVA in
all the nailing done and all the gluing done. So hopefully now when we lift it up, it'll be strong. Now, in this bag, which came in bag number one, is some very important health and safety uh, equipment. And it goes in this slot here. So basically what it is, when I unwrap it, is a strap. So this little tiny strap here. So what this does is, it fixes to the wall and to the top on the inside. So there is... So there is a washer and a long screw and a raw plug which goes into the wall and through the strap and then there is a short screw and another washer to fasten that on the inside and it slides through there and it's incredibly important that you use it if you've got young children because it's top heavy you don't want them pulling the drawers out standing on the drawers and the actual drawer set falling on top of them so it looks like nothing but it's an incredibly important piece of health and safety so if you've got young kids make sure you use it so the uh, carcass is all built now so I've just got to make up the drawers so I'm just going to show you how to make one drawer because they're all exactly the same so we've got pack number three now and it's all laid out here ready for us to use so what do we need so we have a front so we've got a white front and a pine inside so that's the front and the slot here goes to the bottom we've then got a back and the back is made of pine both sides as you can see with a slot for the bottom and then we've got two sides so we've got two sides and we've got the base with the fancy inside so that's inside we then need a strengthening piece so it doesn't sag in the middle and then we've got the two runners which allows it to run along and come out and go in so they're the bits we need we just need to build it up so you can see pegs are in two on the side I've glued ready for the dowels this is the bottom so two locks are in so it's basically like we've done with all the others put them in line put them down and lock them put one side and then we've got the other side and this is the biggest drawer I'm making Again, lock them down. So that's the first part. Now, the next thing we need to do is use these plastic screws, or plastic nails, because you actually knock them in, and they just go in the hole, line up with the bottom. And they just knock in. done the ones on the other side we can now take the bottom making sure the nice pattern is on the inside and then just slide it in the groove so it goes all the way in So that's the bottom. Now we need to put in this securing strap in the middle to stop the bottom flicking out. So we need to slide that out till we find the holes. And we need to use two of these tiny screws. And the first one goes in the bottom, in the middle here. 
and you don't screw it all the way. So there's a pre-made hole. Then this end slides over the hole like that. And then you get another screw in this end. back up which is pretty damn hard to do because it's not far off here so that goes like that and that screws up like that and then that slides back like that And then that stops the base pushing out. So we now need to get the runners on the sides. So that one goes on that side. And the screws what go in the bottom of here actually hold the runner on. So let's get that done. Well, I just messed up. <laughs> When I come to put these on, I wondered where these holes were and they were on the inside. So I have to take it apart. So when you're making the drawers, make sure that these go on the outside, not on the inside where I thought they went so you wouldn't see them. But you don't see them anyway. You don't want to see them on the inside, do you? <sighs> what an idiot. Anyway, put the run runners on and then we use these blunt screws. Just screw into these two holes. Now there isn't anything in the middle hole. Okay, there's no screw for that. So if you wanted to put a little screw in there just to hold it all in together, then you can do. I'll flip it back over, and you can see the runners now are going to stop the side panel. Oh, the bottom panel, sorry, sliding through. So again, we get the two little screws. And the final touch is the knobs. So we've got two knobs. Push the screw, these two pre-made holes through. Not even need to hold the inside screw. It just tightens up. Again, pre-made hole. And that is your completed draw. All we're going to do now is slide it on the sliders. So the carcass is done. And the drawers are done, so let's put them together and see what they look like. Start with the top ones.
that is the finished article. All I've got to do now is swap that with the old one over there. So here's the old one, there's the new one. Wow! What's happened? And that is the end of this video on building this, the IKEA Hamney six drawer drawers. <laughs> so if you've liked this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you've not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe because it helps and don't forget to hit that notification bell because YouTube will tell you when we're uploading videos, mainly on Mondays and Wednesdays. All I've got left to say is Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.